A few weeks ago, Savix was summoned to the official Blizzard Black Fathom Deeps race. A tournament where 40 players will be randomly selected and split into teams of four. The first one to slay Aku Mai takes home the grand prize. Good luck to these mighty contestants. Now let's see how the group is preparing. Bean, let's fucking do this, man. Yeah, invite me. I'm getting a Chrome desktop. Can you summon? What is Chrome desktop? Can you summon? What do you mean summon? Bean, wait the fuck up, samurai. We got a city to burn. I have IBS. What is IBS? Yo, what's up, team? Yo. How's it going? Are we allowed to be inside and then they're going to give us a countdown, I'm guessing? Probably. I think that's what it was. Okay. Hopefully, the rest of the team shows up. Do we happen to have a barrel for Wind Fury? Um, we have Bean. He's a Druid tank, but I think for some fights, he can definitely go uh, Wind Fury for us. He might be a little late, though, but his butt is like leaking or something, he says. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bean. That was a good one though, right? <laughs> I'm leaving, don't leave me. <laughs> you wanna lead real fast? Give it back. Oh, what the fuck? That guy's... What the fuck? He took my... Dude, this is Blizzard. Yoinked my leader. Wait, is Carlad in our group? What, what is this? Dude, I have not seen a GM in game in so long. Holy. That's cool, man. I thought GMs would just store you tell to your kiss and go to sleep. Dude, that's so cool. They do exist. Ban me. I'm a bad boy. Being you little weirdo, man. Manka Giga. Yeah, GM's pulling Bean there and Bean's like, what the fuck? Ash, yo, can I get teleported too? Good oh. morning, team. This is your main tank speaking. Good morning, Bean. Hello. Good morning. It's good to see you, brother. Thank you. I'm going to talk about strategies here, guys. I'm not stopping. I don't know if our healers are on call. I'm not stopping. We have to AoE and kill everything. Oh, I got teleported here. Holy, thank you, King. Oh, shit. That's so cool, man. That's right. I'm going to play Wind Fury. Thank you. Did everyone uh, repair and have potions, etc.? I have three Shadow Protection potion if anyone needs an extra. As the members of Savix's Crusaders prepare for the oncoming battle, let's see what their competition is doing and what the commentators have to say about them. And we're going to be experiencing it for sure here as we turn over and the teams are getting ready to start running. So I know we've had a lot of discussion about some of the strategies, some of the tactics. So Sarth, I will let you take it away as we come into this. We're looking at the buzzers right now. But, I mean, they're prepping, they're getting ready. How are they going to tackle this raid? Well, this team actually looks like a pretty solid group composition. They have three Paladins here, which is one of the most versatile classes. Paladins are one of the strongest tanks right now at level 25, and they also can be doing damage and healing at the same time. If anyone saw when we very first got to play Season of Discovery over at BlizzCon, S-Fan was the only person with a damage meter and he was doing insane damage. We also have Savix's team also here with three Paladins, where we're seeing two of them being Retribution Paladins and most likely one of them being a Holy Paladin. Okay, 10 oh, seconds. seconds. Here we go. Here we go, boys. This is for victory and honor. Fuck the horde. <laughs> go, 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 go looks like the race has begun here's the start I i'm pre we stick right we stick right okay oh my god they die so quick i got days for some reason monk we're seeing actually Eldair on the bottom right here is the warrior that's doing damage but it was also tanking so we're seeing that go out and as well we see paladin tanks so right now on the left actually on most screens you can see that little elemental that you can that people clicked there is three separate kind of rocks within this first section that you have to click that will summon a water elemental and you have to defeat all of the water elementals to be able to fight the first boss. The first boss is Baron Aquanus, which you used to have to defeat if you were a horde only. It was a quest mob within BFD. 
So you have to fight all of these elementals, which will actually preview all of the raid mechanics in here. Kill the lobster next. And then water alley. And as we kill the crab, let's walk to the, the next, next, one. next one. Yeah, start moving now. Start moving now. Range finish off the water early. And past that, you're, there's also those whirlpools that you can see some people swimming right by. And if you walk, swim into those, they will just knock you down and towards the bottom into the depths of the water. So some of these bosses, Savix's team already kind of getting ready to pull the, the boss. We're good on mana, so I think we're just oh, yeah, going to yeah. pull after this water early, okay? Kill this water early. Yep. Move it to the platform if you can. Can't move it. So we can jump right away after. Oh. Bad boy. He is a bad boy. Alright, he's almost dead. Right, go. Go. You can go now. Watch the. Whoever has the debuff. I think it's Tank. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh, oh no, Bean. No, it's fine, bro. And Baron looks like it's it's pulled here for the buzzers. And Baron just taking so much damage. Um, Sarth, you mentioned you can get knocked down from this boss. There's uh, a storm AOE you do not want to stand into. And it looks like Savix's Crusader is pulling shortly after. But man, the buzzer's doing so much damage. Watch out, watch out. He's going to knock everyone in front of him. Okay. There's going to be a, another... Watch your debuff right now. Watch your debuff. And jump off if you have. Bomb on me. Savix. I'll jump off at last second, okay? Yeah. Or jumping after this. Yeah, just go right after the boss, just go, okay? Just start moving. Should be that soon. Need what you need and pass on whatever you don't need. So this boss has gone down for two of the groups, but it'll put a bomb on one of the targets, and if you are near anyone else, you'll explode and, and everyone else will die. So the same mechanic is similar here but someone will get the bomb and they need to jump into the water. And if they don't, they'll, they'll blow up and everybody that's up top on one of these ledges will get knocked into the water and will get knocked back. So it's very similar and I think it's very thematic for the same Baron. So we might see other Barons in later groups. The Savix's destroyers are pumping so much. Or Savix's Crusaders, where there's multiple Crusader strikes going out from these retribution paladins you can see the ret and the warrior on top just like we thought i had to double check the team names here because it looks like ampy is not in the lead which is like a world is that a world first to, for ampy to not be world first <laughs> like that's insane to me it looks like the buzzers has a has a clear lead right now and crusaders is like right after them and it, it seems like their lead is being created from the pure just dps we can honestly probably probably pull. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pull the boss. No, no, no. There's the three more here. That's fine. Yeah, they, they'll pull with the boss. Oh, oh look at these guys. All right, you can probably pull the boss now. Yeah. Chad, I'm not getting a wisdom buff, and I called it up twice. Yeah, good, good, good. Remember to hit the bubbles if you need one. Can I get a beaver on Zulus? <laughs> I'll run around in a circle. It's gonna be counterclockwise. Okay. You do no no damage right now. You have to do 100 instances of damage. So just like do very fast attacks. Oh, I can't get thrown. I have no taunt for two. No taunt for two. I don't know how the fuck you get thrown. Dude, brother, you are fucked with threat. I don't know why. But an interesting thing that most people might not know yet is if you're fighting the boss, he takes full magic damage while that shield is up. So if any of the hunters maybe have a scorpion pet you might be seeing notoriously around the world right now, that scorpion <laughs> does full damage during the boss having a shield up. So you, that can help a lot of these groups actually potentially patch up. It looks like the buzzers are still way ahead. The buzzers are pumping here and Savage's Crusaders right behind them, amped up a like quite a bit behind and Fast and Future right behind them. But you're, they're gonna see these groups try to burn the boss before it puts up another shield because you'll greatly lose the damage. These groups are very physical heavy. And I'm curious, Rook, what do you, what do you see this from the experience of someone that hasn't been playing the classic version of the game yet. I mean, it's just amazing to see how they have actually taken all of these and then made even more out of this dungeon, right? What are we go. go, go, go. Are we, are we do the underwater boss, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wanted to just say here that Savix, 
had some pretty strong words about his feelings about how his team was going to do. So, on a, you know, on a final note here, Savix, you know, they got to stay up there. They got to keep in the lead because Savix did say, I will be joining too. And then in all caps, win, I will give good content. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, we're going to have to keep an eye on Savix's Crusaders here because, I mean, so far competitive, so far really bringing it. But I know we're moving on even deeper in here. So, I mean, Zaryu, how are you feeling as we get deeper into the raid here? We watch a couple bosses down already for our two lead teams. Yeah, so if ever, for everyone just tuning in, Buzzer seems to be in that clear first place, uh, and they're doing so well. Uh, this is the team led by by Palm B, I believe, and Tommy Salami, such a known, a world renowned known speed runner, speed leveler here, and they're already pulling the third boss, which is just so impressive. Um, Lady Savaris here and uh, Savix's team right behind them. It's it's really neck and neck. I mean, Buzzers is close, but Savix's team is right behind them. I guess I just man upon on cooldown because we're not going to be able to sit again. and drink. Uh, we're we're going to pull the boss inside. Okay. After this frost over. I'll get melee, you get wizard. Before. Yeah, I marked it. We can pull. I'm like half mana going into this. Watch your feet. Get out, get move out. out. Apparently the arrow is interruptible. It is, but you shouldn't. Uh, okay, it's on okay. Elenia. Elenia, get ready to move out. You have lightning. Move him out of there. Hey, we need to get the pets out of there. Pets are important. Oh, I could freeze the mob. I don't know. Well, that's that's interesting. Good. Go 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 go. That's a big level. Oh, those are hog gloves, kind of. Yeah, those are. Someone could pull those, are good. I'm just rude. Yeah, pull up and someone pull ahead. Yeah. Okay. It's always good to just pull ahead a little bit. We're all yeah, this trash is dug. We're actually good. killing the trash so fast. Yeah, yeah that's good. We have two, two red, though. The nice. big divine storm. I do. There it is. We're going to see these big pulls here. From Amped Up, this is what they were talking about. They want to see how much they can grab and then just have the mages do a ton of damage. Hunters also now, with a rework of their explosive shot ability, it is instead of doing like ah, 400 damage in one ability, now it is an AoE and you see those mages on top easily able to deal with that whole group. That's their plan for catching up and it looks like they kind of have caught up. They're very, very close as the buzzers are getting ready to pull this fourth boss, Elahas. I'm really curious if at any point we're gonna see a full wipe. You know what I mean? Like if buzzers <laughs> yeah. is in the lead and full wipes, you know, like, I mean, as a as a caster, as someone just watching this as a fan, it's like, I, I want the teams to do well, but like secretly I'm like sitting behind the scenes. I'm like, are we going to see a wipe? Like, are you know, <laughs> like it's kind of like the yeah. same reason why people watch hardcore, right? Like, are they going to die? Um, so, so yeah, so they're pulling the third boss here, uh, Gelahast yeah. and man rocks, uh, just doing so much damage from butter dog on top of the meters fighting for number one spot. And that, that wind fury giving so much effective DPS, but sorry, what does this boss actually do? Break it down for us. So this boss will, it'll seem like they're downing this boss really, really quickly. It looks like he's, he's almost down, but that's actually not true. This boss has three phases, and now you're seeing the mechanic, the main mechanic, where a ton of murlocs move across the room, and you just have to dodge them. But if you don't, it actually hits you for 400 of damage, and it AoEs everyone around you for 400 damage. Geek's Priest almost going down here, so this is the scariest part. If you can live through this, you have to do this multiple times. Melanie also getting hit. This is like the epitome of a retail mechanic and a very slow version of it, but it's just making sure that you completely dodge this. During this phase, the boss takes 99% less damage. Oh, Vos. Oh, almost goes down. Oh my gosh. Boss is gonna take no damage, so just dodge. Just focus yeah. on dodge. Stop, stop, stop damage now and dodge. Focus on knocking. But you have to defeat him three times. There's three of these phases where you have to do that dodging section twice. So we'll see it happen one more time. There is actually a secret location you can stand in that none of these Murlocs will ever go to. Um, oh, really? I'm curious if they send a healer there. I know Amped Up's group would know of it. Ready? Okay, yeah, pump now. Pump, pump, now. pump, pump. Pump, pump, pump. pump, pump. A two yeah, stack 
I'm gonna start taking a lot of damage here. Uh, on this next boss, you want you want me to take the melee and you get the uh, wizard in? I, I, uh, avoid, avoid. I think yeah, I just get dodge the now, just dodge think. now. Casters, so when the tentacles come up, the casters should go on tentacles and melee should just focus boss, okay? I think we can just burn it. We just quick enough. You just you burn, burn, burn boss. It? If you can burn, you we just, just burn, burn boss. It. Okay, okay, burn boss. You cannot keep up with the tentacles. It's more of a DPS check than a kill the ad thing. Yep. No, I'm just saying caster like just buy time and then melee burn. Yeah, it's fine. Time. Yeah, you should kill it too, but we can just try to burn it. We got it. We got it easy. Uh, Warrior, you want the melee ad or the caster? Nice too. Uh, caster, caster. Okay, I'll take melee. Yeah, what is this? Remember, guys. Appa we apparently, we we boss. don't kill fire totem. I was told yesterday. So yeah, yeah, no, no, don't kill fire totem. I don't, don't need to kill even need to kill Wind Fury. Fury. Just kill, kill Lightning Totem. Yeah. 100%. For speedrun purposes. All right, everyone, get in, get in, get in, get in. We have to, we have to. Yeah. As long as the Wait. tank isn't getting whomped by it. Yeah. You can yeah. walk through the wall. Kill the caster first. The caster yeah, heals, so be ready to kick if they do. This next section, as we're seeing, is actually a gauntlet towards the next boss, so they can't actually get out of combat ever from now on until they defeat the next boss. They're gonna worry about mana which is something that mages absolutely worry about. And they just need to consistently do damage, which is where warriors and paladins really, really shine. So we might see the buzzers and Savage's Crusaders push ahead again here. As Amped Up did take the lead there, this is another section where their group composition is at its weakest. So they do have the boss, Lorgus Jet is pulled now. And so this boss, after you've dealt with the entire um, gauntlet, then you pull the boss himself, and what he does is he spawns three separate totems over a, a period of time. And they're always, it's scripted, it's always the same order, where it's a fire totem, a molten lava totem, that will send a, as you can see in the bottom left here, a kind of like a fireball that chases the person that's the nearest to the fireball itself, but it moves really, really slowly. So you actually can completely ignore that totem the best strategy and then the second totem is a wind fury totem for the boss to hit the tank a lot harder another one that we will probably see all of these groups actually ignore is savix is destroying the damage here and then the last one though is a corrupted lightning totem that actually lightning shields the boss so every hit you do to the boss himself hits you back for lightning damage that is the one that every group will turn to nuke down and if you don't it is very very intimidating and we're actually seeing it now. Lorgus Jet is getting pumped down very quickly. And I think it, it looks like Savix's group is catching up. And that was, again, I think, because of just how strong Retribution Paladins are in this section. Nice. Go, go, go. Oh, boy. Last two hard bosses. That's fine. Um, yeah. Just pretty right before the boss, to pre pop a shot of, shot of pop. Don't pop it now. Just like yeah. Pretty much again. We can just pop, you should pop it phase two, just in case anyone we gets my cleave to the... How long, how long is the pop CD? Is it three minutes or is it one minute? Five minutes? minutes? No, I'm sure. We should pop it like halfway there so we can pop another one if you need it inside there. While we fight the I'm rest. I'm 90% sure it's two minutes. There's like, uh, casters. Two minutes. So... Perfect, two minutes. Warlocks, so... I don't know how good that is. I would just wait to where it is yeah. like, inner sanctum. Sure. Yeah, we'll pop it in there. Did these guys you guys need mana? We probably do need mana armor too. Right, so uh, uh, careful, uh, we put a lot And you know, we That's actually are coming in on like 25 minutes, just a quick interjection. I think it's been like 25-ish minutes and they're this far already. But I mean, I know that pushing through this, trying to get to the second to last boss, that's the big one, the big sticking point. Um, but these teams are making such fast progress and we weren't even sure, you know, oh, well, we have two hours. So technically they could take the full two hours if they needed. But at this pace, I feel like they aren't going to need it, Sarth, because I mean, unless this next boss really puts up a huge, huge hurdle for them, which it very well might, a lot of these teams seem on pace to get this done well before that two hours. Yeah, I think actually, so the group in the lead we're seeing here is Savix's Crusaders and then the Buzzers. Savix's Crusaders actually ran past where they needed to turn to the right as the Buzzers run up the stairs. They actually waste a little bit of time here. And this is always gonna be something that like, as you were saying, Zara, is like deaths in classic World of Warcraft. When you get into speedrunning, that was the inception before 
like hardcore, the whole reason is this thing called world buffs. And a lot of people either love or hate world buffs, but your character is a lot more powerful when you have those world buffs. And if you don't know, basically there's one going on the first week of every month, you can get 10% extra damage, but only if you don't die. And Amped Up's actually Whoa, using the skip. water skip here. Yeah. So Amped Up's whole group is actually gonna be skipping most of the trash. They have to make this jump, which is a little bit <laughs> intricate. You just jump forward and click forward once. So if everyone can make it, they should be good. That actually skips a ton of trash and fully catches them up. Instead of pulling big, they just dodged everything. One thing they do need to worry about is making sure that no one had their pets out because if their hunter forgot to dismiss his pet and there you're seeing people summon their pets now, then it actually would have ran around and pulled everything. So this is our first real major speed running strategy we've seen in this race was for them to fully skip all of the trash there, which catches them up. They're actually now, it looks like potentially ahead of everyone else. It's okay, if we pull boss if we're just yeah, outside, everyone come on, so. sits. You think we should just save pot now, or...? Yeah, I would pot now. Okay, okay done. Oh, and I'm saying save for the second phase. It. Yeah, it'll be up again. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we need mana probably. Is there any more? I'd, I'd say pop in now. The shadow props? Yeah, mana, mana. Yeah, yeah, pop drink pop now, in. we'll pull in 10 seconds. Yeah, quick drink, quick drink. Alright, I'm okay, going to pull 10. Come back. Come back soon. Alright, uh, let's have me and um, Olenia go down first. Still in combat. Hey, all the range, I want you to stand right here, okay? And you guys are moving right. right. They're in combat. Don't, don't pull. Hold don't on, pull. Yes. Alright, don't pull. Don't pull. Where is, where is the, we have one. It's, it's in the corner over here. Yeah. Because I have one health. Uh, just drink. Me, just drink. Don't yep. worry about the fighting. Yep. Uh, yep, yep. Drink. Alright, I'm pulling in five, four, three, two, one. Pull. Stack up in the back range if you can. Stack up in the I back. Got shadow change. Yeah, stack up. And you guys are gonna move blue. right as he throws his bolts. Okay, move as a team. We're in the shadow off. now. We're on the left side. Does that come? Yeah. Have to have to square. 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 We have to rebuff after this boss. What it's the fuck? The Why are we not getting the portal? It's, 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 it's unlucky sometimes. That's so weird. Oh, go 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 go. Yep. Go down next with Dude, usually after you kill three, you get out immediately. Should that was weird. And this boss will choose the two closest people to him to send down into there. So we can see the tank has actually been sent down as well over on the top right for Savage's Crusaders. The buzzers are doing insane damage to the boss. So you're going to have to burn the boss down while having two people over gone in the Shadow Realm. And it was smart of Savage's Crusaders. They sent one of their healers in early right there, which just meant one of the casters had to stand on top of the boss himself to be able to send them down since it is a proximity based thing. And in the background, we can also see those, those dark vortexes, those purple vortexes. The boss also sends out these void circles, these void crashes that when they hit the ground, they will continue growing until the boss hits 35%. Technically in the Shadow Realm, you can take down what we're seeing right here, uh, those invading nightmares. If you kill the invading nightmares, that actually resets those void crashes in the normal realm. So you actually are fine. But instead, the strategy has become to just make sure you, you just get out of that realm as fast as you can and get back onto pumping the boss. Now we have the boss in phase two at 35%. Here you can see the Savage's Crusaders are doing really well on pumping this. And this is two casters actually. This is a double tank kind of situation there. Oh my God. And there we have it. Oh, hey. They won they the it. hardest boss. That was really oh. impressive. So like under 30 percent they made it look easy right like that's a hard phase to clear kelris through so many mechanics you have to not only not stack you have to get dispels instantly like if you don't get the dispels that dot will just kill you and you have to do a ton of raid healing and you have to crush him in dps if you don't beat the timer then you just wipe and savix crusaders doing that really really easily uh looks like buzzers have two deaths but they Ooh. might kill kelris this is close is buzzers gonna do it we have Palm B dead and Butter Dog dead, but Kelris at 1% life. Kelris does look like he's gonna fall, but we have oh. four deaths on Ooh. the buzzers, so we're gonna have to use time and resources and mana for Resurrects and Savix's Crusaders on their way to the last boss. Savix has an outstanding lead so far in this BFD race.
We don't need to pull extra on the left side. Uh, yeah, don't. Just keep running. Uh, I don't have fair on it. Going up ahead, I'll just pull all the turtles. Okay. All right, so what are we doing on the stack? Am I dropping at two stacks, or am I just sitting in the thing the entire time? Just sit in the in the elemental. Just sit on the elemental, and I'll uh, the pick prize, up the ads boys. if you can. I if appreciate I, if you can, it. I'll, pick I'll up take you guys all after okay. this, okay? And on phase two, you're uh, not sitting on an elemental. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be getting four stacks, and then you I'll taunt it off and you, then you, and then you okay. go drop it, and then uh, and then I get four stacks. Uh, you taunt, I okay. repeat that. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So you just want me to, I just literally stand in the elemental? You literally just sit in the elemental, yeah. Okay. And okay, everyone sure. should be uh, hovering around around the boss. Everyone should be like... Drink, like, drink, drink now, drink now, drink now, drink now. Yeah, drink it. In the boss area, but around it, spread around. So uh, he spreads, you can just move out instantly, okay? All right, let's go. All right, go, go. But now we see Savage's Crusaders, like we saw in the background, on the very last boss, Akumai, which will have a few mechanics mainly it has a tank busting mechanic you can see fat form fat form has a debuff on his character model he is kind of green right now and what will happen is the boss will put a stacking poison on your tanks yeah just uh, chill on down, yeah. chill down. It should be now, it should be now. We, we got ads coming up, we got ads uh, coming up. I'm gonna pick up these ads, go on, uh, yeah, go on boss, I'm gonna, I'll pick up the ads. It takes no damage call, right call now. Call when you have force actually, yeah. Yep, I will. Ads are out, focus ads right now. Ads are out, ads are out. Go on ads, go on ads. Watch for breath soon, okay? Are we, we're seconds. ignoring the void walkers, right? And just burning? Yeah. Yeah, it was not, not gonna be void walkers. We're switching out force Just boss. Just, oh, yeah, just kill boss. Use your Big gloves if you forgot. Yep. Three stacks on me. Alright, I'll pawn off soon, yeah. as soon as you get breath. Breath now, breath now, watch. And you, and you want me to dump these four stacks, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm still yeah. free, I'm still free. Just pump, just pump, just pump. Alright, I'm pawning off now. Stacks, no. I'm pawning, no? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting rid of them. Okay. I'll, I'll keep these ads, just focus boss, I think. Hit, hit, yeah, hit the boss with this, though, even with the thing. Watch, careful, careful, watch careful, breath, careful. watch breath. Yeah, blast, blast, blast. I'm panicking it. You're good. Ignore the ad, kill, kill boss. Yeah, just... Take one boss. Taunting, taunting. I was out no ads. Breath so. soon, okay? Breath now. Breath, breath, breath. Pump, boys. I think we did it, boys. And Let's go! 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 We did it! Yo, is that first one? We did it! Are we first? Savix is Crusaders absolutely blasting this raid. One of the fastest raids we've seen in the world. Massive congratulations here. We first! We first! We first! We did it! We did it! Let's all keep going, man. Let's go! Hey, That's all keep going. Cool. Good shit, boys. It's too easy. <laughs> no, dude, we dobbed. Oh my god. Yeah, we dude. Dobbed. We flew right. through that shit. That was just so easy good, guys. Clap, boys. Like, a dynamic that was so tanking good. duo being. Good yo, shit, let's go, baby. Man. Let's go. Let's go. We each get like six months of game time or some shit. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, really? that's really? hard. I'll yeah. take yeah. that. What the <laughs> fuck? That's kind of hard. Amazing. <laughs> Wow! Yes. Oh, I, I want to wait. Please. I want to spend more time in this game. Wow! What? <laughs> what? We had oh, some doggy know. loot though. That was some dog uh, ass. Yeah. Yeah, that was some dog loot. Oh, and rebuffing. That was a good neck Did drop. Oh yeah, neck reboot, neck reboot, reboot, reboot. reboot. Oh. <laughs> Judgment is the best guild on the server. Oh. Oh. True and, and the real chat. Criminal scores and that ne next BRD or whatever. Next BRD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Oh, cool. I didn't even use. I'm just kidding. I rated two times with the same buff. That's insane. Yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's so quick. <laughs> my my world buffs are still on two hours. <laughs> nice, good stuff, boys. Love it. Oh, yes. Time to reboot my buffs. <laughs> Okay, what, how long did it take us to do that dungeon? I don't know. That was fast. Uh, that was fast. Twenty nine? Was that twenty nine? Something like that. What, what I had 16 minutes left on the BMF buff. Great it's job, big right sexy. Now. I think we killed it about Time to cleanse some. If second place still isn't done. Second place is still not done. 
I think buzzers have it right here. Buzzers. Akumaya is at 5% life here. Tommy, though, the tank almost going down. Four, four poison stacks, five poison stacks, but Akumai surely is going to fall despite whatever happens there. Akumai, though, on amped up steam is also sub 10% life. The buzzers claim second place. They are going to get that six months of game time. Each of them, six months of game time. The math on that is like, is that 600 months between all of them? It's a lot of many months. And amped up, <laughs> the main tank dies once again but akamai one percent live does fall amped up Ooh, the deadly strike of the hydra does drop what the, hydra. They got a sword. oh my god what the, where's our sword where's my sword that's, no actually you know what that's their consolation prize they got destroyed yeah. so hard the game have to like you know make it up you know what I'm to all of the teams that have already taken it fast yes, because, still, because still going our in. first place is six maybe time. Time. Okay. next time next round that's good wait oh that's we good. get six that's months of wild game time and that's it wait Yo, Volcan, oh, Cryptic, Iso, I, I'm Hefty, down, dude. and Jack. Uh, what's that, 15 you know times? Dizzo, yeah, Charlie, yeah, Tuna. Pretty, pretty I blind Blizzard. witness, Jerex, Arrow. Shirt, man. I need Thank a Murloc shirt. But the Giddy Subs appreciate it. Go like bargain. You want me to bargain? I mean, you ask yeah. them, you know? What do you, I don't have any pull. I don't know. Sorry, what did you think? What were some of your expectations and how did it kind of compare? Honestly, I was uh, an Ampy believer. I'm a big Ampy fan, if you guys couldn't tell. And I... I can't believe you came third. <laughs> Amphi, what happened, man? Unbelievable. Um, I'm also a Savix fan, and to see him win, I was really impressed. It's so cool. I, I just love Savix. I'm a huge fan of his stream, and uh, it's cool to see him come out on top. So that was pretty cool, especially uh, not being first the whole time. Like, he came, he came from behind and took it all. And so, Savix led the men and women under his command to a blazing victory. Well played to the other participants, and congratulations to Savix's Crusaders on their well-earned reward.